Hi friends, welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Shiva Tankamani, an integration technical architect. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, some powerful features uh, available in Mule 4. These features uh, are very simple but yet powerful to design more efficient applications. Let's get started. I have a Mule 4 uh, application already created that contains a simple uh, HTTP listener running on an uh, 8081 port and the resource path is uh, enrich. I have a series of components placed uh, one after another to achieve some specific use case. And uh, in that use case, we are going to talk about how to uh, make this content enrichment. So uh, content enrichment uh, is the uh, frequently used design pattern in the integration field, which is used to basically to enrich the incoming content uh, uh, to add more fields, a key value pair into JSON or XML. So let's see the use case. So uh, I have a simple uh, JSON payload with ID, first name, last name, and uh, zip code. And I'm aiming to create this uh, resultant JSON, which contains the status field in addition to the uh, existing fields. These uh, four are the existing fields, which I'm going to wrap around on the result field. I'm going to add uh, uh, five more field uh, to showcase some of the features that are available in Mule 4, um, which is uh, rarely used, but these are very simple to use if you know which uh, uh, you will be able to design and execute or implement uh, uh, efficient applications. So I'm going to add a, a game, a random number, a full name, a date of creation and the country. So we have the zip code and we are going to find the uh, country by invoking a, a REST application. Let's uh, go back to the flow and uh, see what are the components uh, that are available. These are uh, uh, the components that you are already familiar with, but uh, there are some techniques applied which I are going to see here. So the first method is to uh, add a field to the existing payload. Uh, which can be uh, sometimes difficult, but uh, uh, which we can use uh, plus plus operator uh, in data B. This, this plus plus operator, operator is used to enrich the incoming payload with the additional key value pair. So here the plus plus is not the concatenation, but rather it's uh, uh, adding uh, one array to an existing array. Payload is considered as a set of key value pairs and you are going to add one another key value pair, which is a game field and value is cricket, which is finally uh, coming out as a JSON file. So the next one is again the data, uh, uh, data weave transformation, where uh, I have used the similar technique of uh, uh, using plus plus operator, but uh, I have added uh, some import statements uh, which are available in data v2 which you can uh, use it very efficiently because in mule 3 uh, in order to use the java uh, functions uh, you need to create a global function and then you need to refer back uh, in the data v which uh, very difficult to uh, make the reference and then understand what we are doing but data wave 2 makes it very simple where you can see like a similar Java class where you can import the package and the class and you can use it in the transformation. So I have imported a, a Java lang math package under Java. It, the uh, the uh, syntax is very simple. You put Java and uh, a separator called uh, exclamation symbol and then you are going to give the package name. But uh, instead of dot, which is a package separator in uh, Java classes, but uh, instead of using it, you might need to use colon colon, which is a package separator uh, in uh, data view. So similarly, um, I have added uh, uh, one of the string utils package that's available in uh, Apache. So uh, in order, this is very powerful uh, string uh, utilities that are available in uh, Apache, which uh, can be added in the POM file as a dependency here. Here is the dependency I have added. Uh, it's uh, common slang, uh, 
the package can be added uh, as a dependency here so that you will be able to use that uh, uh, function inside our uh, database uh, transformation. So you can also please note that uh, uh, you will be able to use um, methods or functions that are available under uh, a specific class only as a static method and not the method belonging to the instance object. So normally all the readily available uh, of utility functions are available under static method as a uh, um, under the class. So uh, so this is a second technique which is very efficient. Uh, uh, many a times uh, um, most of the features are already available in Java which you don't need to reverse engineer by uh, writing as a global function and then uh, using it in the data wave which is very difficult but uh, data wave 2 in NULE 4 is uh, very easy. The next uh, uh, technique is to use a write method and uh, bring the uh, data weave uh, transformation inside the data weave expression in a single line. So uh, we have done the same thing that uh, we have done uh, in our uh, transformation data weave. But here uh, we are directly applying that uh, data weave uh, expression under the set payload. So which is very uh, uh, simple to understand. So uh, here we are specifying the data type of the uh, uh, outgoing uh, payload. And uh, so I'm using the write method to convert uh, some payload or uh, uh, some information that we are uh, manipulating into the application slash JSON uh, format. So uh, this is the um, uh, data type of the content which we are going to store. And this is the final uh, output uh, format uh, that's going out of uh, data v which is stored as a payload sometimes uh, these kind of uh, simplification will make you come up with a, uh, a concise flow instead of uh, uh, making it very lengthy uh, and difficult to understand so the next one is uh, uh, is the rest uh, api invocation uh, which i have placed here which is uh, a very simple and openly available API, you can use it. This is api.zippoperton.us, which is basically find the uh, details of the country when zip code is given. So I have taken this for uh, example in order to convert that zip code into the country code. Um, so let's see what the uh, REST API does. So this is a REST API that uh, brings out uh, uh, details of the zip code uh, given, so which I have taken it uh, as a sample. So we are going to extract this uh, country name which is coming out of uh, response of this REST API. So the important thing to note here, the context here is to uh, find out how to enrich the incoming, incoming content. So here, uh, after this uh, uh, REST API invocation on top of that, we are going to do one small enrichment here. Uh, in Mule3, you have a, a enricher component, uh, which can be used uh, to set the content instead of affecting the incoming uh, payload. So you don't want to uh, impact the payload that's currently available in the message, but rather uh, you want to enrich based on the response received from the invoking API. So uh, as a response that's coming from the REST API, I am extracting the country field and storing it under the target variable. The beauty of Mule 4 is almost all the components uh, have uh, this target variable and target value. So you can enrich uh, the uh, content quickly instead of impacting the incoming payload. Uh, for example, almost uh, almost all components will have some additional information which you normally don't see in Mule 3, which I have done that here. 
So the target value is the value which you are uh, intending to store and target variable is the flow variable where you want to store the data. So once we take this uh, country and uh, our uh, next component is a set payload which we have used a similar technique that we used earlier. So uh, we want to utilize the um, flow variable and form the payload and enrich the payload content and convert finally into the uh, Java format, which is uh, nothing but the uh, key value pairs of uh, uh, incoming payload. So finally, we are going to have one more uh, opportunity to use different way uh, and enrich the content. So here we are using parse template, where parse template is used to have the fixed uh, content and write some uh, uh, updates into the existing content. So I have the success.json uh, file as a JSON uh, format here under the resource file, you can see here. So this is a predefined and fixed or you can call it as uh, static content, except this uh, uh, result failed. So I have a, a static content uh, with a status value success and the result is the uh, header name for the payload that we are going to set. So what it does is very simple. In this uh, uh, JSON file, it just substitutes wherever the flow variable is used to uh, obtain the resultant JSON. So this is most efficient because it doesn't, it's a, a, a time effective way of uh, preparing a, huge uh, uh, payload sometimes uh, when you prepare the payload most of the contents are uh, static and you end up changing only one um, for that if you use data weave it's going to be time consuming so you can simply give the location of the uh, uh, json file or you can directly place the content here which is even more uh, efficient but sometimes you don't want to do any hot coding so you can uh, place it as a, an external file. So uh, these are the techniques uh, uh, that are often uh, ignored and then we often end up doing uh, mule 3 way of doing things which you, you need to change and then explore mule 4 on all the available features and then use it accordingly. Now let's run the application and see what the output is. So here is my payload. Let's run this. And here is the response. So we have added uh, these fields in addition to the existing uh, payload. We have a game which is cricket value, a random number which is randomly created by uh, java.lang.math.random function. Full name is taken from uh, Rahul. I should have concatenated with the last name, but anyways, we have date. It's which. Uh, uh, conveys the current date which you can use it for uh, many reasons uh, country it's taken from the rest api which we invoked based on the uh, input zip code so that's it in this video i hope you liked it and found it useful uh, if you feel so please uh, like this video and uh, uh, subscribe and i'll try to come up with more useful topics soon thank you bye